done this week from telling the stories of the sick children who live inside public housing to keeping the pressure red hot on the mayor. We're making it happen. Monday, we started our special series focusing on the children of NYCHA who are sick with high levels of lead. Viewers were outraged by this 19 year old story. Her and her sister poisoned by lead. She was just five years old when she lived in the Douglas houses. I know what to do, I know what to say, but sometimes it gets kind of hard to say out. Then Tuesday, PIX11 was inside federal court, and a judge now wants to hear from the 400,000 New Yorkers who live inside NYCHA before he approves the $2.2 billion deal between the mayor and federal government to fix public housing. We are hardworking people, and there are people who are sick. Wednesday, the mayor didn't take questions about NYCHA, even though he was at the Marcy Houses celebrating a new community center. You know we tried. Can we ask you a question, Mayor? Take a question. Mayor. The mayor is now adopting a zero tolerance policy when it comes to combating lead. But since April, PIX11 has been pressuring him to take action. There are so many people hurting, and they don't feel like you're doing enough, and they want to see more action, and they want to see more money. Are you going to devote both of those so things? So, this is real action for real people. Is that enough investment? Again, if you want to be serious. Yes, if you I want do. to be serious, I'm very then serious. you would look at the fact that the overall need in NYCHA is 20 billion plus. Crystal Henry wants to know what's taking so long. She lives in the Smith houses. She has four children and is living with mold. Three of her children have asthma and she's now testing them for lead. She says it's the children who suffer the most. We felt the pain talking to eight year old Chloe. Oh, my sweetheart. And finally, this week, the Monica Makes It Happen Facebook show focused on the children of NYCHA and Dakota's Law, a bill being pushed by Senator Gustavo Rivera from the Bronx, inspired by Taisha Jones. Her daughter, Dakota, was lead poisoned inside NYCHA. She fought the city and won $57 million. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook at Monica Morales TV. That's Monica Morales TV. We could be in your neighborhood next. In Midtown, Monica Morales, PIX11 News.